so this is a demonstration video for my year nine groups. Uh, we're using acrylic paint to um, achieve a smooth tonal graduation. Um, and this is just showing you a technique, the techniques that I would use for achieving that. So the drawing's prepared and I've mixed my base colour, which actually didn't just come straight from the tube. I mixed the colour myself using a little bit of white as well. So this is the base colour and I've mixed enough of it um, to be able to use for all the tones that I'm going to make throughout this demonstration. So you can use, see that I, I use a sort of scrubbing motion to apply the paint. Um, I try to make sure there are no edges or ridges. Um, I use a sort of combination of stippling and kind of circular scrubbing motions. Um, I pay attention to the edges. I use a square-ended brush to, um, to work right up to the edge. And I start with the edges. Um, taking care not to leave a ridge. Um, I'm going to cover the whole area with this um, base base colour first. I'm going to go over the whole thing, um, making sure I've I've really scrubbed it on, so I've covered covered all the paper. Um, you can see the range of ways I use the brush. Um, not too much paint. It's important not to have too much paint on the brush. So now I'm preparing to make make my first dark to add to the base that I've I've put all over the surface I'm, I'm painting. Um, you can see that I've added a bit of black there. I'm making sure there's not too much paint on my brush. And you can see that there's very little variation in in the colour. I can't really see it. As I'm applying it, I know that it will dry darker, but I can't actually see see much variation as I mix it and as I'm applying it, but I know that it will it will show. Um, towards the end of this section you'll begin to see that the paint is starting to dry and becoming more visible. Um, but in the initial stages, because acrylic dries darker than it is when it's wet, it's actually quite hard to see. You just have to know that um, when it's dry, it will be different to um, the undercoat. So carrying on, um, concentrating on the edges, um, using a circular scrubbing motion or sometimes a stippling motion to to um to scrub the paint over the background so now I'm ready you can see that it's dried and you can see it now and um, now I'm ready to go in with my second dark um, so I'm going to I'm using black again with my base with my base colour. Um, I'm going to just deepen those dark areas. Um, I'm going to include a a little bit of reflected light. So I'm not going to cover up the initial dark that I put around the very edges of of these pipes that I'm painting. Um, because the very edges will be slightly lighter. So you can see I'm using a stippling motion this time. Um, you can see that when I'm picking the paint up off the palette, I'm taking quite a lot of care to moderate the amount of paint I have on my brush. This is really critical with painting, is, is the loading of the brush, making sure that you haven't got too much on there, that you've got just the right amount. Um, always controlling it, always got a rag handy, 
um, to wipe my brush if I need to. Just building up the tones there. Once again, as before with the initial dark, you won't see you won't see the colour it's going to be straight away. You just have to take it on trust that when it dries, it will be visible. So now giving my brush a bit of a wash and preparing for the next stage. So I've now got the base coat and I've got two darks and now I'm preparing to paint the areas that are lighter. You'll all remember from tonal drawing with me that you really only need five tones to make quite a convincing um, form. And it's the same with painting, five tones. Um, you should think, if you can include five tones, you'll, you'll make a convincing form. So I've got my first light. You can see, um, it's not all that different from the base, from the base colour, but it's got a little bit of white in it. Take care at this point that you're not mixing any black in with your white. So I've got a clean brush for this, and I'm just mixing the white with my my base colour, and I'm putting on just a layer, just indicating the centre, as this is a pipe, so the the point at the top. Um, is going to have my my highlight on it and will be lighter and you can see already that we've got something which looks like a form so building that up you can see using the scrubbing motion again controlling the amount of paint on the brush there's really very little paint on the brush um, you want to build up the layers um, one over the other See, I'm adding a little bit more white now to my lighter tone. Um, and I'm stippling away with that brush and wiping with a rag and just making sure I've got just the right amount on my brush so that I've still got control and I'm still building it up slowly and I'm not, um, you know, ending up with a very solid area. The thing with stippling or scrubbing the paint on is that it's... It, it makes a broken surface so you know what's underneath is coming through and you can see that as you build up the tone slowly it's much easier to control and much easier to make small corrections if you need to so just building up a little bit more once again really controlling the amount of paint on the brush um, stippling away on on the palette there to make sure that I haven't got more paint than I want on the brush so I'm still kind of in control of the way the paint's layering. Applying it with a stippling motion. Once again, you can see that the highlight is beginning, is really beginning to show now. Um, it's still not pure white, you'll notice. It's still not pure white. It's still a light shade of blue. It's still not white. So now um, I've let the layers underneath dry and you'll see that I've now got two brushes with me. So I've got um, a dark brush so that I can move backwards and forwards. I can take the darks darker and bring the, the lighter areas lighter. Um, you can see that I've also got a sponge which I'm going to use um, to finish this off. Um, you can see that it's really important that you mix the paint with the brush and then apply with a sponge. 
don't mix it with the sponge you'll find it it's really easy to get, get out of control with that so you're mixing with the brush applying with the sponge and you'll notice that I cut my sponge in half so I've got a little sponge for um, adding in any darks as well as um, adding in the light so two brushes two sponges um, that strimmer is coming closer and closer to me now so I think it's time to stop my demonstration now thanks for watching